Let's look at the next rigid body demo. Actually, uh, the next topic is a group of three demos that show basically the same thing. Instant box on plane, Kapla Arena and Kapla Tower. All of these three show uh, how to use point instancers and uh, probably the Kapla Tower is the coolest one. So I'm just going to start with that. Skip the other two. So here you can see that uh, this is a huge amount of bodies. And uh, the special thing about them is that uh, while all the jointed things are modeled as uh, individual objects, because this point instance sync technique does not support joints natively, all these other bricks down here, they are not modeled individually, but they are all parts of a so-called point instancer. And then there is actually just one brick. So what a point instancer does is that it takes its child object, this brick, and basically copy and pastes it um, hundreds or thousands of times. And uh, it does it in a way that is much more memory and performance efficient than it would be for you to manually duplicate the object so many times. Now, unfortunately, point instancers, when you click them, you can see they cannot be edited in the UX efficiently. So I know I said that you don't need to worry about the Python code. In this particular case, uh, it does um, need to be set up using programming to create the USD asset because we currently don't have an easy way to edit point instancers in the UI. I can still show you, however, the performance gain you can get from this. So if I press play, you can see that the whole thing starts collapsing under its own weight, but I still get like 50 frames per second despite everything uh, simulating and uh, coming down and collapsing. And uh, this, is, uh, this is all interactive stuff. So I can now pull out this brick right here until uh, until this tower also collapses. So, uh, to better understand point instancers, it might be a better idea to just look at this basic demo that we skipped originally. And this one just has two boxes. So again, the same idea, a point instancer with a child box. But here you can see that basically the angular velocities are stored here in an array, the orientations are an array, the positions are an array. So because there's two objects here, the positions are an array of two, three vectors. And that's basically how it works. That's, that's how you need to set up your USD scene. And again, in this case, it might be useful to look at the Python demo. Construct these. 